Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing well. This is a totally different video as it is a travel vlog. I have recently been to Shantiniketan by road. So today's topic is the visit of Tagore's land. I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. We stopped at Nobanno Dhaba while traveling for having breakfast. You will get a lot of breakfast options and beverages over here. A very well known place by the highway with parking facilities. We reached Bolpur by 12.30. As we were traveling with two pets, we have to opt for a pet-friendly resort. We resided at Baul Moon, which is near Prantik Station. It is a nice resort with moderate accommodation and beautiful plants in the surroundings. They even arrange for the bowl song programs in the weekends for the guests. The same day we visited the Khoai Shonajuri forest so that we don't miss the Shoni Bader Hat. The weekend to Khoai is incomplete without a visit to the Saturday Hat where artisans of Shantiniketan sell their wonderful art crafts sitting in the forest. We get to see some cultural programs over there by the local people. On the second day, we visited Konkali Tola, a famous pilgrim site near Bolpur. Out of the 21 pilgrim sites associated with Sati, wife of Lord Shiva, We planned to have our uh, lunch at Banalakshmi. If you are planning to have your lunch at Banalakshmi or Barishale Rannaghar, make sure you enroll your name a day before the same. Banalakshmi Unme Shomiti is a small NGO education center set up by Ravindranath Tagore. You can even collect the household things like homemade uh, things like ghee, honey, gur 
and mustard oil, pepper, many more items from dal. They really serve the lunch in a traditional Bengali manner with very which is very hygiene as hygienic as well. After lunch we visited the pottery showroom confetti. They have wide range of ceramic items from coasters to dinner sets, ashtrays, vases, etc. I was overwhelmed as I am a huge fan of ceramic items. One con of this place I will definitely mention is they don't accept card payments or online payments. After this place we even visited to Karokrit and Bhubandanga market as I am a shopaholic. We returned on the third day after having a traditional Bengali lunch. Due to the pandemic, the museum and Bisho Bharati University was closed for visitors. I had an unforgettable experience all over amidst natural beauty and pollution-free peaceful environment after a long time. Hope you all like this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.